Rebuilding your brother's PS4 database without a working power button will require you to use the system's safe mode feature, which can normally be activated using the power button. However, since the power button isn't working, you will need to use the console's controller to attempt to enter safe mode. Enter safe mode using a controller one. Completely turn off the PS4. To perform this step without the power button, you should unplug the power cable from the back of the PS4, wait a few minutes and then plug it back in. Two, connect the DualShock 4 controller. Use the USB cable to connect your controller to the PS4. Wireless connections won't work in safe mode. Three, attempt to start safe mode. Press and hold the PS button on the controller to see if you can power on the PS4 and directly enter safe mode. If the PS4 turns on but doesn't enter safe mode, you'll need to shut it down and try again. If unable to enter safe mode via controller, without the power button, if you're unable to enter safe mode, you have limited options because safe mode is necessary for rebuilding the database. In this case, seek assistance from a friend. If possible, borrow a working PS4 controller from a friend to ensure that your controller isn't the issue. Contact Sony support. Even if you don't have money for repairs, consulting Sony's customer support might give you guidance or suggest a solution you haven't thought of. Look for community help. You could search for help in online gaming forums or communities such as the PlayStation subreddit, https slash wwreddit.com slash r slash playstation slash, or the PS4 subreddit, https slash wwreddit.com slash r slash ps4 slash, where users share tips and tricks for various issues. Seek a temporary fix. There might be temporary solutions like using objects to bridge contact if the button seems stuck. However, these methods would be makeshift and are not guaranteed to work or last. Last resort options. Sell the console. As is. You can sell the PS4 as is for parts or repair and use the money towards a working used one. Save for a repair. Alternatively, it might be worth saving up for a professional repair instead of risking further damage. Remember that attempting to fix hardware without the appropriate knowledge can result in further damage. If none of these options resolve the issue, professional repair may eventually be necessary.